Dear students, today we have Mr. Dev Jignesh Patel who secured All India Rank 7 in GATE 2025 with instrumentation engineering. He is basically an electrical engineering graduate but wrote with uh, instrumentation also. So let us uh, have a small discussion on his preparation and message to the uh, future aspirants. Hi Dev, congratulations. Thank you sir. Okay, briefly about yourself. So I was born and brought up in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Mm -hmm. I did my schooling there and then after giving JE mains, I did my bachelor's in electrical engineering from NIT Surat. Then I uh, prepared for campus placement and I got a job from there only. Uh -huh. So I worked uh, itself here in Hyderabad for 1.5 years. Uh -huh. we, what? May know, is it a software company or a core it company? It was a mix of both. They do both type of works. Uh -huh. So my was my work was in R&D sector more of. R&D sector. And then after one and a half years, I thought of uh, changing my stream to VLSI. Uh -huh. So then for that, I gave gate. Acha. In order to switch towards yes. VLSI, you have taken this instrumentation. Yes. Okay. So you have taken online test series also with yes. uh, ACE. Uh, how it helped your uh, success? So, it definitely boosted my confidence. I was getting uh, under 100 to uh, under 40 ranks, under yes. sometimes one also. Apart from that, it helped me identifying my mistakes. Mm. So, that feedback I got from writing test series mm. was important in identifying what I was doing wrong. Mm. And that ultimately helped to increase my accuracy. I even have seen, I have written 90 plus tests. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 90 plus tests. Yes, definitely time management uh, plays a very vital role in securing good rank in any county definitely. exam. Definitely these test series yes. will help you. So I think you have also taken some pre-recorded subject yes. for instrumentation yes. course. For ele electronics course. Oh, for the electronics CM, course. Yes. What is that subject you have taken? Uh, I have taken communication and EMFT. Uh -huh, uh, EMFT. Okay. So, uh, after your B.Tech from NIT Surat, yes. uh, is it the first attempt or second attempt? I gave in 2024 oh. once just to try and see how my basics were. Oh. So, I was planning of taking a drop afterwards, but oh. I thought why just to check my conceptual knowledge, I gave gate once in 24. With which is, uh, stream you have written? EC, EC. EC you have written? Yes. So, electrical engineering? But in 24, you have written with uh, EC. EC. What was your rank? 2080. It's a good rank. You might have got a seat in some good IITs also. <laughs> have you not tried? I was planning to go to IIC. I Achha. heard it's good for research, so I was Achha. planning Achha. for that. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Devi is saying right from the beginning, he's interested in uh, research. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you are working on site. Yeah. How much time? you allocated for preparation exclusively for a gate exam every day? So, I, effectively I was able to give 3 to 4 hours, not more than that. 3 to 4 so hours. So, that are enough to do basic preparation. Uh -huh. But if you want to go advanced, if, if your target is under 10 rank or under 100, then chances are you have to allot more than that time, 7 to 8 effective hours. Hey, how you could uh, spare time? One is doing the job, another is gate exam, that too your gate exam, not your electrical engineering stream. How you could balance all these so, things? Uh, I, my courses in BTEC helped me here. Mm. I had uh, strong basics in analog and network. Electronic so, subjects? Yes. Mm. And then I had to prepare only one of the core subject. I left EMFT at that time. At that so, time. I tried mm. preparing communication by using BPLRT, one of the textbook. Mm. And I allotted after coming from my job, Mm. I came around like uh, 7 p.m. around and then after dinner I would sit for 2 to 3 hours and re read the book or see some online lecture and prepare from it. Uh, see, in instrumentation you have some other subjects, yes. particularly uh, uh, sensors, sensor in the you instrumentation. Pu pure instrumentation subjects, yes, no? yes, yes. Uh, how you have prepared for that? I actually left uh, one of the core subjects that is sensor in industrial instrumentation, ah. but I prepared measurements. So measurements. We, uh, we were taught measurements in electrical engineering also. Transducers? Transducers, uh, I actually had some practical experience. Ah. 
okay uh, with working of some of the flow meter and everything yeah, yeah. so it was a bit easy for me because i know the working principle mm. but i have not done that advanced level preparation for that but i was able to do one two question basic question uh, can you throw some light on mathematics and aptitude part of gate exam yeah how you have performed and what was your preparation so if i talk about performance uh, it is not predictable like mm. if we see if till 2024 aptitude was moderate to easy every time okay. we were able to complete in 15 to 20 minutes but this time in ec aptitude was hard on harder side oh, i was only able to attempt 7 to 8 marks uh, yes yeah. so we cannot say aptitude is done we have to continue practicing it every day every week i used to practice uh, aptitude pyqs every week on sunday saturday for 2 to 3 hours See one general question I want to ask in the campus placements in any engineering college mm. generally aptitude will yes. be the first test yes. screening test correct, like correct. that whether aptitude for campus placements mm. and the aptitude for gate exam have any similarity yes quantitative part of uh, gate is similar to that uh-huh. but campus placement uh, companies don't generally go for verbal ability they don't go for no. yes so quantitative part yes quantitative part. if you prepare for gate it will help you in that placement yes so for gate preparation with your gate preparation hmm. definitely you can score some good marks in aptitude Correct. of placements yes yes okay right so you have written so many online tests yes see at a particular point of time suppose your score is less in the online hmm. test So, what were your thoughts? How you have overcome that stress? I was actually hoping to get low marks, uh. so I can identify the specific topics where I am missing. Okay. It's hard to know what I am not doing correct. So, whenever I get wrong marks, I would analyze the whole test and see which specific uh, questions are wrong and why are they wrong. If I don't know the formula, or if I don't know the concept, or I have done silly mistake, I used to keep track of everything so I can analyze it afterwards. Have you prepared any micro notes or short notes like that? Yes, I have made full notes and then a short notes to revise. Okay. So it reduces the revision time. It helps afterwards in September. Okay. So you reached your target in the second attempt, honestly. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. Suppose a student wants to crack in the very first attempt hmm. in the college itself. Hmm. Say, so I have seen. I think uh, ah, even year's... third year ranker yes, students first, got good ranks. This time, year one is third year. Yeah. Third-year. So. what suggestion or what you have not done hmm. but you advise your juniors so that they can crack in the very first attempt in the third year practice would make a lot of difference uh. so lot of uh, people try start preparation but they leave they leave even i left uh, because i got a campus job yeah campus placement huh. is one reason where majority even the best students yes. are not performing well in gate exam okay. they get some job 3.6 4.2 hmm. r5 whatever it may be hmm. so they relax correct yes so consistency is very important i feel you that it won't be possible do you suggest at least core branch students hmm. to start their preparation for gate in the second year or i think starting from third year uh, should be good enough but is it sufficient to crack a good rank in the third third year first attempt Uh, Thoda difficult. It will depend on the particular student, but uh, people do crack in third year, and some yeah, even yeah. try in second year and do that. Yes, yes. So, even I have seen in our engineering college, yes, engineering college also correct. third year students have done very well. Yes, very well. Yeah. So, suppose a student in the final year, hmm. one side campus placements, hmm. one side gate exam. How to balance these two things? I think both can be done at once. It will help only because companies do ask technical ability. technical ability in I, interviews yes interviews so uh-huh. if you are preparing for gate it helped me a lot for that so if you are preparing for gate it will definitely help in your interview okay. so it's better to start during first year uh, during uh, third year only so it will help in academics also and campus placement okay but if you are starting at last point it won't be help, much helpful anyway uh your general message to the college going students with respect to gate exam be confident take risk and uh, go for it don't double think about it if you want to do it mm. go do it don't mm. worry about the consequences you still have time 
uh, suppose given a chance suppose a student got gate rank mm -hmm. approximately 400 or 500 mm -hmm. assume he will get a seat in some iits mm -hmm. he got a campus placement of say some 4.2 or 5 lakh package mm -hmm. if you are in that situation what will be your choice i'll go for mtech there are better scopes after uh, masters specifically we, we are now seeing electronics and vlsa are the next decade thing excellent perfect see majority mm -hmm. are saying nowadays instead of going for 3 4 5 if you are fortunate enough to get a seat in iit mm -hmm. or premier nits in the emerging courses mm -hmm. like uh, embedded system vlsa mm -hmm. etc that is a good choice but even till today 95% students have not realized the importance of um, doing masters in uh, iits and other premier institutes correct very good uh, suggestion mr dev you have given you. so students you please think those who are in the colleges okay don't neglect campus placement but if you have a choice do mtech in your iits with the trending technologies where you will have a better future, future. okay yeah. thank you mr dev all the best thank God you sir you.